Hi, this is Stephen Brower. In the prior video, we took a look at how we create one of these um, uh, page frame reference tables. Um, we also looked at the uh, first in, first out page replacement algorithm. So where we ended up at the end of that last video was our uh, table uh, looking like this, and we kept track of um, where we had interrupts and where we didn't. Um, but if, for this one right here, for the purposes of this, if we look at these um, ends as being successful, meaning we're able to reference what was in memory, it was one, two, three, four of the of these references. We were able to just reference what was already in memory. We didn't have to bring anything in out of ten. So we actually did have a uh, forty percent success rate in finding our pages already in memory. Meaning here when we reference page A, it was already in memory. Um, here when we reference page A, it was already in memory. Page B, uh, here was already in memory. Here page B uh, was already in memory. What we're going to do now is uh, look at the least recently used uh, page re replacement algorithm. Um, here, conceptually, I just want to go based on least recently used being what we visually see in the table. The book actually will get into how we look at the page map table with the columns that are there to figure out which of the pages is the least recently used. And that's the modified bit and the um, uh, reference bit. Um, all right, so starting off, our first page reference is A. Uh, a is not in memory, so uh, the A is loaded in here, um, and then we do have an interrupt for that. So at the next point in time, we're beginning with memory looking like this with our A. We're referencing B. B is not in memory, so the B um, is brought in here. Uh, the next point in time, our memory is looking like this, our AB. Um, so we uh, did not have to bring a page into memory. The next point in time, our memory is looking like this. We're looking for C. C is not in memory. Uh, the next point in time, our memory looks like this. Um, our ABC, A is in memory. Next point in time, we're looking for B. And this is what our memory looks like. B already is in memory. Um, and now here we are going to then get to our um, uh, first time where we actually have to go and replace a page. But since we're using least recently used, then in terms of the pages, I want to see, well, what did I least recently use so I can put the D over it? Well, one thing I can do, and I'll just do this visually, if I look back, I did reference B. So re B, I, B was a page that was referenced. If I look back previously, what was referenced was A. Well, since we're in a three-page scheme, whatever's left over is least recently used, and that was the C. So C is being replaced by D because C was the least recently used. In other words, A and B, um, A was referenced here at time five, B was referenced here at time six, and C was referenced older than that. Um, so here at the next point in time, just want to more neatly, I realize my B looks really weird. It's A, B, D. <laughs> this is what um, memory is looking like when we're beginning. Uh, B is in memory, so uh, there's no interrupt there. Uh, the next point in time, this is what our memory is looking like, our A, B, D. Um, A is in memory, so we are not doing interrupt here. Um, and at the last page reference, our memory is looking like this, or A, B, D, and we're referencing B, which already is in memory, and there's not an, an interrupt there. So here it was one, two, three, four, five, six out of ten times. What was that? Sorry, six out of ten times, <laughs> which is 60%. And that's at least just for this set of data that we have here. Uh, but 60% of the time, um, then when I was trying to reference a page, it was already in memory. So here referencing A, it was already in memory. Uh, here referencing A, it was already in memory. Here referencing B, it was already in memory. Here referencing B, it was already in memory. Here referencing A, it was already in memory. Here referencing B, it was already in memory. 
Uh, so comparing back to, now this is a small set of data and isn't necessarily meant to be indicative completely of these algorithms, um, but given these three frames and the page references in first in, first out, uh, we were 40% of the time successful here and least recently used with these page frames. So with the least recently used page replacement algorithm, uh, we were at 60% successful. Uh, again, when I was looking back at the least recently used, I was just visually looking back at what was here. One thing the book will get into is how we look at um, the bits in the page map table to try to determine uh, what the least recently used uh, page is. Where am I? 